Next up on today's roundup is Man United All Stars playing the UK Parliamentary FC down at the Den, the home of Millwall FC. Former Southampton boss Laurie McMenemy takes charge for the MPs, who for today's game have committed £100 for every goal scored. While Ian Holloway, managing Man United All Stars for the first time, was delighted to have ex AC Milan, Watford, and England star Luther Blissett, as well as Millwall's all time record scorer Neil Chopper Harris, at his disposal. Apparently, they're, they're strong down the left. They're strong down the right, but they've got nobody in the middle of this uh, political team. <laughs> so, uh, no, it, it's, it's all good. It's all good fun. But really, the, the thing is, we, we, um, we're we joining to try and save lives and become aware of things. And uh, that, that's the beautiful thing about it. On a sunny afternoon in South East London, the Men United All-Stars early dominance paid off when Leighton Orient Academy manager Richard Thomas opened the scoring on five minutes with a sharp finish after a defensive lapse from the MPs. It wasn't long before Blissett and Harris combined to make it 2-0 to the home team. Things got even better on 11 minutes as Man United All-Stars made it free with a move started by Mill FC Chief Executive Andy Ambler and finished by Mark Tighe from England Fans FC. The MPs were struggling to get in the game despite their numerical dominance. Referee Dermot Gallagher turning a blind eye to the MPs for pitching in 12 men. Things were completely different in the second half, as some hotly debated transfer at half-time led to a turning of the tide. Chopper Harris switched parties together with Arsenal FC's Michael O'Brien. Cracks in the All-Stars armoury were there for all to see, with Talk Sports' Tom Kelly first conceded an own goal to bring the MPs back into the game. Then he left striker John Leach, MP for Manchester Rivington, on the floor after challenging the box. Kelly appeared dumbfounded along with the rest of the All-Stars defence as referee Gallagher immediately pointed to the spot. Leach dusted himself down and calmly stroked the ball past All-Stars stopper Errol McKellar. Nerves were fraught on the home bench as the MP staged an amazing fight back. Chief Executive of Prostate Cancer UK Owen Sharp and Director of Football Mark Bishop could only look on as their team's tactics unravelled in front of them. It was left to Simon Greveson, the Prostate Cancer UK Research Manager, to restore the All-Stars buffer with a clinical finish. But relief was short-lived as the Clive Betts MP-led outfit turned the tide on the home team. Straight from the restart came O'Brien's moment of magic. Spotting McKellar off his line, the Gunners' staffer thumped home a stupendous strike from the centre spot, and suddenly it was a one-goal game again, with even former Sheffield Wednesday and Crystal Palace Mark Bright, a long-time ambassador for Prostate County UK, applauding the MP's fight back. O'Brien and Harris were increasingly influential for the visitors. Harris hit the woodwork and cleared off the line, while O'Brien set free Leach to score his fourth and final goal and seal a dramatic late winner to make it Men United All-Stars 5, UK Parliamentary 11-6. So, 11 goals and £1,100 raised for charity, both sides combining to give prostate cancer a real beating. So talk me through the day, I mean, you must have been privileged to be a part of it, but you, you look like you really enjoyed it. Yeah, you know, I'm very proud to be here, uh, you know, as I've said before, um, I'm a prostate, you know, cancer survivor, um, you know, and I, I found that purely by accident. So for me, today is about raising the awareness of prostate cancer. It was two halves, a game of two halves. They won the first and we battered them in the second. Clive, you're standing here with a Prostate Cancer UK Men United scarf on. How privileged were you to play in today's game? Anything we can do to promote prostate cancer and make people aware of the dangers of ignoring any signs or even getting tested after they pass 50, then we want to make sure that that message gets out there. So it's, it's a privilege to play this part, and particularly for me as a Millwall fan, Prostate Cancer is the charity that's on the shirt of the team, so playing here at Millwall is special for me as well. <laughs>